Many people rely on buses and trains to get to work or school. Those who use the Greater Cleveland RTA are concerned about the agency's future. News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis reports riders are calling on Cleveland's new leadership team to make public transportation a priority in 2022. Well, the list issued by Clevelanders for Public Transit calls for stepped up development around major bus stations. The group believes the building of affordable housing, office space and access to food will stimulate additional ridership. I've been car free most of that time. I really depend on RTA to get me to where I need to go. Chris Martin has been a rider ever since he came to Cleveland 10 years ago, and he had a fellow rider shoot this video of his daily commute to work. Cleveland, poorest big city in the nation, and it's the poor that most rely on transit. Martin says one problem is a lack of public bathrooms for riders. I don't really know what I do. Um, there's not really any public uh, bathrooms in the city that I know of. Chris Stocking with Clevelanders for Public Transit says another issue is the need for more dedicated bus lanes citywide to reduce commute times and the need for additional bus route crosswalks. Get off the red line train at West 25th Street, there's no crosswalk to the West Side Market. So you have to cross across, you know, two busy roads. And Stocking says city law should be changed so riders accused of fare evasion would not face a criminal misdemeanor charge. We want to see that decriminalized and made a civil offense. It should not be a criminal offense if you're trying to get to work and you're a dollar short on the transit fare. That just should not happen. Cleveland Mayor-elect Justin Bibb responded to the suggested list of improvements, telling News 5, as mayor, I will prioritize people over cars and continue to advocate for more reliable, affordable, equitable public transportation. RTA responded by saying, quote, we remain committed to reviewing customer policy recommendations and working toward solutions that benefit all of our customers. And incoming Council President Blaine Griffin says the list of improvements needs to be the subject of vigorous discussion within the city transportation transportation committee in the coming months. Transit oriented development is very important and I think that uh, what they're stating is something that many of us already believe in. And Griffin says the city's Vision Zero initiative set up a few years ago to seriously reduce traffic accidents could provide some solutions to traffic pattern problems being experienced by RTA riders. I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.